Good evening to those bored enough to watch. It is very common for games to be left behind on older hardware, without ports or any accessible or affordable way to play through them. To combat the likelihood of this, emulators have been developed and widely used by many to play through these older games, taking the matter of preservation into their own hands when companies fail to accommodate that need. However, sometimes they do exactly that, releasing official ways to play through their older games. However, ultimately the subject of emulation is a varied one, with different people standing in a wide multitude of different stances, and in this video, I want to explain explore my own stance on emulation, and I encourage you to discuss your own if you'd like. So, with that said, let's discuss the ethics of emulation. Emulation is something I personally think has its many advantages and disadvantages. For example, it can be a way to play through older games on your current hardware for those on PC, as there may not be an alternative way to play through them. Additionally, game companies may also recognise the value in emulation as game compilations, to my knowledge, are emulations of previous games, which is a good thing as more people get to experience the game with added features such as save states and speeding up a game when in moments such as cutscenes and whatnot. However, at times they may stray away from emulation as they would want to enjoy an experience more closer to what was original intended, and to do so, sometimes the best way is to play it on original hardware. Though, this may not be possible regardless of whether you possess this perspective or not, simply due to the fact that it can be expensive to get said original hardware, with needing to buy the console, the necessary adapters if you're playing with modern TVs and whatnot, the game itself which can be expensive since you're more likely having to buy a second hand copy, as well as a multitude of other things. For example, Pokemon Fire Red, a game that I still haven't finished, was one that I had to emulate to play, as much as I didn't want to, and believe me, you can ask anyone who recommended the game to me, I was extremely resistant to the idea of emulating before I ended up giving in and emulating the game anyway. I still haven't finished it, I don't know when I will, but if you ever want to experience the game, there is always the remake on Switch, that being the Pokemon Let's Go games, in which I've played a decent amount of both, in which both have their advantages and disadvantages that I won't get into during this video, but alas, it is the most convenient option for those who aren't bothered enough to emulate the original Game Boy Advanced version of the game. At times, companies would make emulation much more easier for older games, via releasing compilations of all the titles that were on hardly accessible hardware, making it easier for older fans and newer ones alike to play them. For example, Sega has an entire compilation of their Mega Drive games, in which I personally tend to play on Steam every now and again, such as Sonic 1 and Streets of Rage, which I've enjoyed quite a bit of. It's an extremely great way to preserve older games in a convenient way, and a far more affordable way depending on what game it is that you're playing. I personally don't like emulating games except for times where it's absolutely necessary, an example of this being a fan translation of Ace Attorney Investigations 2, a game I played quite a few years ago but had to emulate if I wanted to play through the fan localization of the game. I also emulate the first game because the only other way to play through it accessibly is through that of buying the mobile version, which not only did I not know was a thing at the time, but even if I did, you couldn't pay me to play through that game on mobile. Still, looking back, I'm somewhat glad I decided to emulate those games because they're brilliant ones, unfortunately left behind on older hardware and in the case of Ace Attorney Investigations 2, excluded from the West entirely. They're great games and I'm glad I got to play through them. Overall, my perspective on emulation is quite varied. I'll only do so if it's absolutely necessary, but otherwise I try to play through a lot of my games on their original hardware, in which it's okay to agree or disagree. Different people stand in different stances when it comes to this topic. Some may want to play their games on older hardware, and others may want to emulate, and that's completely okay. So, there's the video. I hope you all enjoyed it. This is a video I've been intending to make for quite some time now, so I hope you all enjoyed it. If you want to view the list of games I want to make videos about in the future, then you can always do so through the link in the description, as well as any afterthoughts or messages I may want to add. With that, I haven't really got much else I want to say, so I'll see you all in my next video. I hope you all enjoyed the video, and I wish you all a very pleasant evening.